about those quests. If I'll just start one quest, can you see it somehow? Yes, if you start it, I can join you. Okay. Let's just do that. By the way, sorry if I sounding a little bit tired. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> I just can't believe you're up, to be honest. What? I'm surprised you're still awake. Well, I slept during the day a little bit, so... <laughs> I haven't been up all day, so... It helps a little bit. Alright. I'm checking, do I still remember all the buttons? Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I don't know why it's so hard to remember sometimes, even it's really easy and all. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just these shankles just move around in different patterns. Hmm. Oh. There you go. On fire. I you cannot kill the ones with gold on them. Oh, okay, that's good, you know. Ow! I didn't notice that. What's this? Can we kill it? Uh, that... Yes, only when it stops moving now. Ah, okay. It'll put it down like it's a guard or whatever it's doing. Ooh! Careful. Oh shit, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, that hurt me bad. Oof. Oh yeah, don't need to go back, thankfully. Right. And now these boxes spawn enemies when you shoot them. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was a mistake. Uh, you're good. Yeah, thankfully I upgraded my armors. Right. Quick quick tip here. If you uh, walk up to an enemy like this and just oh. pull up your shield real quick, you'll, you'll push him out of the way. Ah. It's very, very <laughs> good for like getting them out of your way. Especially if they're all like cornering you or something, you just pull up your shield and they all just get pushed away. Surprisingly deep mechanics in this kind of game. Yeah, there's a bunch of little text. Oh, I just got a little fire. Some cool little text that you can you figure out as you play. Such as shield cancelling, when you just swing and shield immediately. It cuts the animation in half. Hmm. Oh, your sword is like a rifle. A sword, I mean, gun. Okay. Yeah, it's the uh, Antigua line. It's pretty, it's actually a really decent gun. I don't have one on my main account, so I thought I'd make one on this account. Hmm, alright. 
Not sure if you know, but all weapons have a charge attack if you hold in the attack button. Yeah, I figured it in the last episode or something. Yeah, they're Ooh. pretty good for like before you step on like a party button, you, you charge it up real quick. And then when you're ready, you stand on it so that you're ready to unleash a really big attack when you're, all the enemies spawn. Can you dodge two times in a row? No, there's an 8 second cooldown. Oh. Between each dash. I think. Yeah, it's 8 seconds. <laughs> I'm just loading everything here. Uh. <laughs> That's a short mission. Yeah. For some reason my pet doesn't really get any experience. Yeah, actually your pet gets experience through feeding it, and you can do that on the uh, character menu screen. If you hit, if you hit P when you load in the oh. battle sprite icon. And then click on your uh, pet icon, which is the dragon, and you can feed it materials and level it up. And when that heat bar goes all the way, you have to feed it the required, its favorite item, to level it up to the next level. So for instance, it should be power moat. That's the last thing you feed it when it's ready to be leveled up. So I need to press P. Or yes, if you hit P, it'll bring up your equipment and your um, yes, and then it says equipment, costume, and then battle sprite. Yeah, you want to click on battle sprite and then your battle sprites icon on the left side. Left side. Oh, there we go. And then there should be an appetite bar. There should be five. That's how many times you can feed it a material until it has to recharge. Yeah, it's fully. Uh, I mean, five bars. Yeah, so what you want to do now is you want to go into your the right side in your arsenal that's pulled up, and then material. Yeah. Then you're going to want click to on, click on a material, and it should go inside the box in the middle on the hit feed sprite. Does it matter what I pick here? Materials? Like dark swords? No, not really. Hmm. But the higher rarity the food is, the uh, more he will level up from it. Ah, I don't really have anything good yet. Oh, here, here, here. I'll give you some. Oh, how do we trade? Uh, on the right side, right below your map, there's some like an oh, yeah. icon. <laughs> I can give you these. Got a couple of these. These are decent for feeding. Uh, those are good for food. That should be good for now. Hmm, so... I don't have too many on this character. Well, it's a lot to me. At this point, at least. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, and then once he, uh, that heat bar goes all the way across under his name, uh, you'll have to use the uh, power mode to level him up to level two, three, two. Okay. Two. Which I think you should have from a mission. Power mode. Oh. Okay, now it's level two already. Okay. Nice. Alright, next quest I guess. Sure. If you uh when you start it, if you make a... before you hit the start button, hit a instead of play solo, create a private party 
or yeah, create private party and then hit start. So that I can just join you without you having to invite me. Oh, okay. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Now I can hear you loud and well. I mean loud, I mean normally. Hopefully it stays this way. Right, I actually turned off, I was downloading a, a new game uh, that just came out today for the eastern side, so that's probably what was taking up most of my internet. Yeah, most likely. Yeah, we're, I should be good now. And my brother got off the Xbox. Hmm. But I was like a four days sick as well at one point, so I wasn't really on at all. I mean, my Steam was so on, yeah. but I didn't really play anything. Yeah, I'm actually a, a little sick right now too, though. I was home from work on uh, Monday and Tuesday. Okay. I think it's something going around. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, winter's coming and all. Getting sick right. more easier. I wonder those. Does those um, plants hurt? Probably. Yes. Yes, they do. Oh shit, all the loot is <laughs> Um If you hold up your shield and just walk up against it, it's like there's like a slight vacuum when you pick up stuff. Oh, yeah. Also you don't take too much damage, it's low level, so you can just walk in and grab it without risking too much. Ah. Uh, let's take this for some reason. Oh shit, straight there. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was tough lizard. Okay. That seems to be a pretty powerful powerful gun you have. Yeah, well, these aren't very difficult levels for me because I have some pretty good gear, but it, it is a good gun. I can't deny it though. I wonder if I have anything that you can use. Nah, not yet. It's fine. I'm still learning this game anyway. Um, That's true. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, actually, uh, my main account's actually banned right now uh, because my little brother, <laughs> okay. my little brother made a purchase by accident, and I went to refund it, just thinking, like, just knowing that I didn't purposely do it. So I refunded it, and apparently, it's against the Spiral Knights terms of service to get stuff refunded. But Steam was okay with it, but I did, I did not know that they were not. Okay. So my account is banned right now. They are working on uh, unbanning it. I will probably have it by either. Monday or Tuesday of this next week, so I can start playing on that again. Okay. That cool. is actually why I made a second account. That's actually kind of funny. Yeah. I put in 20 hours on this account already. Well, it's good to hear a no at this point. Right. Just in case. Even though I'm the only one who uses this account, I don't really have anything. Any family members right now here? Well, living alone and all, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bummer. Well, so far, yeah. I mean, I see it can be kind of nice. Yeah. At first, maybe. But after a while, you get kind of lonely.
You don't need to kill those, I just have, like to kill them. Okay. <laughs> It's weird that everything looks so cute in this game, and we just want to kill it. <laughs> mm. I know, but uh, luckily, towards the end, like end game, when the harder missions come out, they do look a little bit more menacing. Oh, just a, just a little bit. Like they'll start getting spikes and stuff. It's kind of cool. Though these dudes don't ever look any uglier or anything, they always look cute. It's not too long ago I saw Fox in my real life. Probably a week oh, ago. Yeah? yeah. Living close to the forests and all. Cause I actually live in the in the forest right now. Ah. Kind of. So I do see. I have not seen a fox yet, though. I have seen a coyote, which is like a big wolf, I guess. Okay. But yeah, we see lots of deer around here. I've only once in my life seen deer. It was a little different. <laughs> oh. What do we need to do with this? Oh, there's still one life. Was. There we go. For some reason I have more life bars now. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, that's a Vitapod. You pick them up off the ground and they give you more health for the couple missions that you do until you leave. Ah. They're very helpful. In my screen, elevator left you out. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> and the quest name is Strength in Unity. Okay. <laughs> That's... <silly. laughs> oh, I should really upgrade my... Weapon. Let's see. Level 4. Wow, my gun is level 5 already. Very nice. I'm working on upgrading mine as well. Do you think I should even upgrade my armors or just wait for the better ones? Honestly, uh... Just wait for the better ones. When the, these lower ones, you don't really need to upgrade at all until ah. you get to three-star armor. At three-star armor, you need to have them upgraded to upgrade them more. For instance, this weapon I'm holding now, I need it to be level 10 before I can craft it into level 5. Or Ooh, it's really cool looking. Up. Almost like from some anime. Some samurai sword. Also, these little bushes over here are really good for extra crowns and hearts. Okay. If you ever need some extra health, just smack some bushes and they might drop some for you. That sounded so weird. <laughs> just smack <laughs> some bushes. <laughs> oh man. Are these like merchants? No. No, nah, they're just NPCs that don't talk or do anything. They're there for looks. Oh. That was kind of cool. That 
Butterfly or Bat is probably healing them. Yes, it's very crucial to knock out the healer first. This fly boy doesn't need to go. So much loot. I keep mutilating everything, and I keep forgetting that I'm playing with somebody. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Okay. I don't want to like let you mess out on all the fun. I guess it's fine if we are even close at the same level, but if it would be like a level 1000 or something, <laughs> it would be pretty pretty stupid, I think. Yeah. I did have this character a lot lower, but I just got really bored over the past very high level. You mean bored to the high level guy? Or character? No, I was bored. And Hmm. Well, I can't play him, so I just got bored in, in real life. I couldn't find any games to play, so I just made another character and just made this one really high level as well. Ah. Well, that's why I've been looking for the new games to play. Like this one and, uh... What was the other one? Dragon Nest? And, uh... One old game I've been playing a lot about is uh, Raiders. Hmm. Huh. All MMOs. Right. Do I already start a new quest? I can't see you here. Keeps putting me on in the arcade. Oop, I just ignored you by accident. Ah. I just did it again. Join. Blades of the Fallen. Cool name. This is a very difficult mission to do by yourself. Oh. It's very challenging. For a couple of reasons. Your character looks a little bit like an NPC that I had before. Oh yeah, the bomber dude in the very first level. Yeah, he had like a machine gun or something. Uh, I'm gonna put on a different gun here quick. Um, yeah, this one. Oh what? <laughs> Little coasts. Yeah, these things are. They explode on you, and it's super annoying if you don't remember them. Yeah, I can imagine that. Oh, they if just you don't clear them out. <laughs> yeah, they just constantly respawn. If you don't keep them in check, they'll just flood you. Oh, that's some fat bat. Yeah, they like track you down. They're super annoying. Oh, so many of them. Run. Ooh. Um, okay. Oh, we need to... okay.
this one. Oh, how did you find another? <laughs> There's oh. one over here. <laughs> you don't need that. I was gonna tell you to get the other one, but I was like, ah, there's one up here, we'll just grab that one. Oh, okay. Now, these guys are difficult. I mean, that one's fake. You don't have to, you're not. Okay. Oh, there's the one. So these guys, you can only hit them from behind. They have a shield in front of them. The best uh, strategy to kill these guys is to walk in front of them so when they swing like that, you can get their back end. And when they do that, you might want to back up a little bit. Just walk in front of them until they swing or charge and then hit their back. Oh wow. Those balloon guys down. Also to get loot from them you have to break their dead carcass. Ow. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, those coasts can be really annoying. And that's it. Really? Whole level? Yep, the first... These first couple of missions are really fast and easy. But yeah, I can imagine alone that segment would be probably pretty hard. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't understand why they made that one so hard. It's like it's such an early... if you're not like aware of how the game works yet, it can really make you sit down. And Shadow of the Beast. Oh, that one's fun. There's actually a boss mission. A boss mission. Yeah. Slurring my words. <laughs> <laughs> that happens to me a lot. Now, I think from those last three missions you got a bunch of new armor and stuff. Oh. Let's see. You should have gotten a caliber and a blaster. Caliber should be the sword. Blaster under handgun. And then you got a new helmet and a new armor and a new shield. I don't know. I can't see anything new. Oh, I'm at the forge. Let's see. Uh, uh, caliber, yeah. I do have. Equi yeah, equip those. And, uh, and then blast the bl uh, blaster. And I think you got a new helmet and a new armor. I think it's called... Uh, yeah, they are definitely better. Oh yeah. I can definitely look cooler too. Was <laughs> just gonna say that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh wait a minute, what did I do? Ah. Can I get my inventory back? Oh there we go. As weapon one. And this is weapon two. There we are. If I could dye my armor, that would be cool. Yeah, I wish they could do that. But the armor does look a lot cooler as you level up. Or oh. at least make it better. Actually, was when I was speaking about raiders, sometimes there was weird at that. Even endgame gears might look a lot worse than the, at the, you know, low-end gears. Right. 
But thankfully there was costumes and all. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's also costumes in this game. That you can wear. Like my armor I'm wearing right now is actually a costume. Okay. Do they give any buffs or anything? No, they're just for cosmetic use. Okay. Oh, you can also do this? Ooh, that was <laughs> huge blast. You're already charged. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I got. I'm not gonna release my charge to hit the button. Nice. Yeah, my other character looks a lot cooler. Also, these bells are very important. If you just hit them, they stun. Okay. That's actually how you beat the boss in this mission. Or at least this... Yeah, this mission. So these crystals are used to make pet food for your, uh, obviously your battle sprites. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Since you have a dragon, uh, you're gonna want to go after their red crystals. Ah, okay. So if you ever see a red crystal, you might want to pick it up. I would probably had to do that anyway, because usually always I use fire armors and such. And fire spells and all. Ooh, these guys. These guys look cute when they're not upset. Oh, didn't even see that guy. <laughs> <laughs> My brains just doesn't... Whoa. I killed him too fast. These guys are so annoying. Especially the freezy ones of these. Because what can happen is that this one can hit you and freeze you. And then you'll be stuck in place like this. And he'll hit you again and still freeze you and then you'll be stuck in place. And he'll oh. hit you again and then you'll still be frozen. Yeah, you can't move and then he ends up killing you. Broken. Like constant stun. Yes, exactly. Where am I shooting? I don't know. Ow. It hurt. Ooh, how did I get hurt? Did you touch the plant? Not sure, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the red one. Take. Also, yeah? if I pick it up, it uh, it's shared amongst everybody. So, like, I will also get your red crystal. Oh. You will also get my yellow crystal. That's really neat. Also, it's a quick little tip for this party button specifically. You want to stand on the very edge because a uh, the monster comes barreling oh. through the center. He'll stun you. How would you ever know that? You don't unless you play it a lot. <laughs> yeah. It catches you off guard. It doesn't hurt you, but uh, it stuns you and it's really annoying. Oh, did it already die? Probably not. 
Да. Упс. Just wrong buttons. Ow, nothing new. <laughs> I do that all the time. Yeah, you'll see the boss up there. I mean, you won't have to kill him here, but that's what it looks like. So, fast quests. Oh, yeah. So much easier if you have somebody with you. Ah, it still continues. Yep, there's this mission, and then the next one after this one is the killing the boss. Oh. So many. I think those guys are really annoying as well. Oh yeah, these are super annoying. Like that. <laughs> I'm stunned. He just stunned me. Oh. Alright, well if you take care of this room, step on that button, go through the gates. I'm gonna go take care of the other side real quick. Sure. I'll get the other key.
get over there? Oh wow. Yeah. Alright, we'll come this way. Should be a ton of loot over here for you. Ooh. Okay, the boss battle, I guess. No, but he's after this one. Okay. Once we get through the elevator. The elevator has kind of like a skull on it right now. That means it's the boss is next. Ah. Oh, this was probably just to introduce, introduce to these mechanics. <laughs> Most likely. Alright, boss battle time. It'll be easy. Yeah, most likely. Teach you some tricks about it. watches you. <laughs> what a freak. It's like a giant cat. It's like a cat. Yeah. Alright. So this is a boss battle. He's gonna be around the outsides here. Like here, here, over there, and then over here. He'll be over there a couple times, and then once he walks to the center towards the bell, that's when you hit the bell. Sure. And when he, when he turns yellow is when you start attacking. Okay. And sometimes the bell is very glitchy and will not register that you hit him. So you'll 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 get it, you'll get it quick. So you kind of stand towards the bell, hold your shield up, kind of just stay near the bell, but like don't get hit by his stuff. <laughs> you'll know when he yeah right like right now you nope see we missed I missed no you know. he's attacking us. Oh, oh there's up again soon. He's in bell now. There we go. Ooh. Like now you would attack him. Then he roars, then you go to the next phase, and then you gotta wait. Oh, well, he was almost right there. I was like debating on if I wanted to hit it or not. That's how close he was. Come at me, bro. Come on. Taking him a while. One more time, one more time. Oh, he's aggressive. Hit him. Uh. Oh, I didn't even see the bell was already up. Yeah, I was surprised, actually. Nice. That was really easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, when you know what to do. 
Right. It's very. It was so difficult the first time I did that. I was like, how do you kill this thing? It took me at least like 20 minutes. But yeah, that's basically the gist of him. Make sure you grab this. It's an artifact. It's nothing important. It's just a collectible. Ah, okay. How long it takes, then this will be becoming more challenging. Oh, it gets pretty challenging pretty quick. Uh, wait, uh... Yeah, you'll, you'll start getting challenging. You'll start getting challenging soon. What mission are you on? Uh, four of something. Four dash one. Yeah. Uh, this entire section's all just talking, you don't need me for these. Uh. <laughs> yeah, just click through them, they're not... Extreme, they're not very important. Especially the shopping one. I don't really like this kind of quest at all. At least they are fast. Yes, they're fast and they give you actually decent rewards. What? Oh. I wonder who I need to talk to here to receive some certification. Oh, it was oh, the guy at the very top. Yeah, just found out. <laughs> Okay, all those done. New... Oh, that's solo quest. Okay. I guess something related to the story.
Oh, it was just that simple. Oh, hello. Oh, I wonder how many guys I have to kill here. <laughs> Probably. Oh, wait, wait, are you in the lab? Yeah. You can just... You don't have to kill any of them, just go up. <laughs> oh, to shit. To the right and then up. Don't worry, I, I spent a lot of time there. Killing as many things as possible. Just to find out you didn't have to kill any of them. Yeah. It's kind of depressing. Yeah, somebody stole something. The story's not very good in this game. Yeah, I haven't paid attention too much. <laughs> yeah, it's actually... It's more of the gameplay is what I play for. It's pretty fun. Colorful. Stuff. Still one quest before the actual quests. Oh, never mind, it was that symbol. <laughs> it's weird that it's kind of, it's a quest and you say like a one thing to NPC and that's done. Like that, <laughs> right. <laughs> like that's more of a dialogue, not a quest. <laughs> 